So welcome back to the third and the last video of the ACS tutorial series. Now I'm going to show you in this video a working demo scene and how to recreate or we're going to recreate the demo scene from scratch. Alright, so let me show you what we're going to recreate in this, um, in this video. Uh, I'm gonna play my game here. Alright. So I have a character, it has a very simple um, character controller script. Now I have two states, I can I, I can have an axe equipped and I can be unequipped or an un, unarmed. And in both cases I can execute uh, combos. So I have set up a, a combo here. Uh, let's hope I hit the right timing from the first time. So one, two, the third kick and that's that right I'm going to go unarmed and I'm going to kick and kick again yes I nailed it all right so that's basically what we're going to recreate in the demo uh, first of all let's let's display let's display what we have in the uh, project um, in the project files I've got I've got the character and the animations from the asset store from a package called um, Melee Axe Pack from Mixamo. It's for free. It's this one over here. Melee pa Melee Axe Pack from Mixamo. It's for free. You get the character and the animations. And uh, the axe itself, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't ha it doesn't has anything to do with the game or the mechanics. It's not very important, but it's just there for the looks. And I also got it for free from the asset store. Uh, it's called Horror X by this user over here. It's also for free. You can download it and follow along. Alright, so I have the animations over here. A lot of animations. And all I have done is uh, put them in the mechanism, uh, mechanism window over here. I have four layers. The first layer is for simple locomotion when, when I am equipped or when I have the, the axe on. Second layer is the same, but uh, when I don't have the axe on, the third layer is uh, the animation of disarming and equipping the axe, and the fourth layer is all the animations and all the attacks and stuff like that. Um, you don't have to follow my setup, my my mechanism setup. You can create whatever setup that you're comfortable with or that that your game requires. Uh, so basically, this part is not very important for you. I'm just showing it to you. All right. So on the player itself, on the player itself, I have a player controller. It's a very simple code that just lets my player walk around. Uh, a demo combo system a script that has two sequencers: one when I'm armed and one when I'm not armed. And all I'm doing, one and all I am doing is basically um, disabling and enabling each sequencer based on the state of my player, uh, whether it has an an, an axe or not. Uh, this stuff are just sample API examples that are not very relevant in this case, in this video, I mean. Alright, I've went ahead behind the scenes and I've created the attacks, all the attacks and all the combos over here and assigned them to the player uh, over here, alright? But let's do them again from scratch, so I'm going to create a folder, I'm going to call it temporary temp. And let's now um, recreate the animations. Uh, so the first step is done. I've already imported my animations to make anim. That's done. Now the second step. Oh, I forgot to mention something. When you import the animation to make anim, you have to make sure that the animation has an exit, uh, an exit transition, uh, so it does not get stuck. All right. Um, that's very important. All right, so now let's create the, the animations. I'm going to uh, right click on the project here, or you can go here as well. Uh, create animation combo system new attack. Call this whatever new attack. Uh, put the animation name, for example, this one. You have to adjust the link begin and the link end uh, depending on the uh, animation, the actual animation itself. So I would go here, 
and see where I can start linking. So about about 0.48% uh, of the uh, animation, I think the player can transition to another state. And the link ends say at 0.85. So I'll go back here and set these values. So 0.48. 0.85 transition duration I can leave it as it is uh, I'm not really interested in creating damage events or generic events but you could if you want to um, you would do the same thing with high and back and backhand and then go to uh, and then you have to create the combo so let's create a combo a new combo the layer name is full body The animations, uh, which are the animations that you've created, I can have as many animations as I want to. Um, say three. I'm going to delete the attack because I've already created it. Uh, so it was low, 360 low. <coughs> and then 360 high. And then backhand, all right. I've went behind the scenes. I've created them just to save some time and not not to make the video long. But it's the same process basically, just filling up information and stuff like that. The input sequencer. I want to use the partial, and I want to have two seconds uh, reset time. I want to have three inputs, or three inputs to the same button, so it would be easier to do it like this. And then. Three. So that's a pro tip for you. Instead of putting mouse zero, mouse zero three times, you can do this. All right. And yeah, we're done. Now let's come back here and put our new combo inside the uh, inspector. You would do the same thing with the uh, unarmed variant of it. So same thing. Their name, full body. I have different animations, of course. But it's the uh, same story. And uh, if I press play, I can walk along. I can walk as much as I want to. I can unequip and keep walking again. I can equip again and then trigger my animation. So one, two, three. Now let me show you what happens if I miss the uh, if I miss the correct timing. So one, I'm gonna press again. Nothing was triggered, All right? Because I missed the timing. But this won't be the case with the partial appending. So for example, let's go back. Let's go back to the uh, uh, type and put it to partial appending, right? And now I'm gonna press the 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 left mouse button three times without any kind of timing so one two three see it worked now if I input an incorrect button so left left right I'm gonna play the first two animations and the third third animation not play so that's pretty much it I hope you found this video useful and uh, yeah, see you.